Catch, clean, and cook right here, boys. Fresh water. Coming at you. So, I was not expecting to catch one of those Gasper Goos, but I've heard from other people that they are really tasty, so I'm going to take it back to the house and see if we can do a little catch, clean, and cook today. I'm always in to try something new. Alright, so phase one of catch, clean, and cook is done. I caught so now heading back to the house gonna go clean this gasper goo and then uh i'll probably end up putting it in the freezer for a couple days uh before we can actually get to cooking it um but i'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking i want to do some kind of tacos i think i'm like maybe some baja tacos or something a little like some lime some lemon you know maybe a little cilantro uh but something something a little a little different everyone Everyone I've seen always does, you know, they fry it or something like that, and it's like, man, you can fry anything, it's gonna be good, you know? That ain't that ain't the point of it, you know? You can fry a dog turd and it's still probably gonna taste halfway decent, so. So, I'm uh, almost back to the house, and uh, we'll get to clean it. All right, what's going on, guys? Back at the house, and uh, I got the drum right here, and uh, we're fixing to fillet it and see how this bad boy looks. Looks like really good meat. So here's where a lot of people go wrong whenever they're filleting something. A lot of people go and they'll cut all the way through this and then you'll have a whole piece with the skin on it. Well, I want to take the skin off of it. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to cut an inch before the tail ends, flip it over, and then you can just grab the bottom part, put your two fingers on the meat, cut down to the skin, get flush with it, and then just work your knife along that skin and you can go ahead and pull all that meat right off the skin and have a really nice fillet right there then go cut out the rib and you got a nice little fillet right there a little boneless fillet the meat actually looks really good it reminds me a lot of bass is what it reminds me of which i know is controversial but bass is delicious now we'll go ahead and flip it over. Just do the same thing on this other side. So all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing this gill and then I'm putting the fillet knife underneath this first fin and then I'm going making a cut all the way down to the backbone. Come on. Okay, and then once you get down there and you get to the backbone, then you just ride that backbone all the way down till you get to that spot in the tail flip it over and then do the same thing Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. Skinned it. Now you just cut around this rib cage. Boom. 
you got another good little fillet. You can wash that off and it'll be money. That's the other good part about doing it like this. That way you don't have like a ton of different pieces to pick up and throw away. You just grab it all, throw it in a plastic bag, call it good. There you go. There's a cleaned off little fillet right there. Meat looks good. I'm excited. A little catch, clean, and cook, baby. Let's go. Phase two, done. All right, what is going on? So we are back and going to cook up this gas for goo. And I uh, got my fiance to, to help me out and cook it and then do a little taste test because you're probably going to be more picky about the dish than I will. So right now we got some spices out. Um, and we're just going to kind of wing it a little bit and try to just go with some some tacos, some like Baja style tacos. We're gonna throw some like guac and uh, what else we got? Pico, guac and pico on it. And uh, just have a little little fish taco night. So we're gonna get going and uh, we'll show you what we, what we do throughout the whole thing. Let's get cooking. All right, so right now we're gonna start. We squeeze some uh, limes all over the, the gas for do. And then we got just a couple of different ingredients we're gonna put in. We got some garlic powder here. Got some chili powder here. Got some oregano. Cumin. Right there. And then just some cayenne pepper. And we're not really going off any like specific amount. We're just gonna kinda eyeball it and, and see what happens. So but the fish looks good. And uh, we kinda kinda took this off a little Pinterest recipe, but should be good. So now we're just going to dump all that stuff in, just kind of get a nice coating all over all the fish. Alright, so we've got the zucchini and onions going right now. we got the fish waiting here on deck. We're going to cook these up and then going to go ahead and start cooking the fish. And then we got guac and the guac and pico still that we can throw on at the end. I'm going to make some tortillas. Um, Kais is going to put them on some lettuce wraps. So we'll kind of be able to dabble in a little bit of, little bit of everything. But, I mean, I'm excited for this fish. I mean, it looks good, don't you think? Like, the meat looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. So, so far, so good. All right, so we just got done cooking. We got the one taco that I'm gonna have done. Kais is working on her plate. We got the guac, got the pico, got everything going. Now, it's just time to sit down and test it. Is it gonna be good? Oh, yeah. All right, here's the test. Cheers. Mm. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right with that. I don't know why more people don't do that with fish. Like all the catch and cook cooks that you see, they always fry it. Everything they catch, they fry. Man, this is the way to go. You gotta go with tacos. Do a little, do a little lime, a little cilantro, a little guac in your life. Mmm. Overall, what do you give it? Ten. Ten. I agree. Definitely worth, worth keeping, keeping and cleaning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good fish. You wanna try a taco? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Better than the taco. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, and the taco. So overall, it's just as good as any other freshwater fish. Like I said earlier, you know, I've ate bass quite a bit growing up and you know, this is this is just as good as bass, don't you think? Oh yeah. It's just as good as bass. From here on out if I catch any more of those, they're probably coming home with me because this is it's just too good to pass up. I agree. Well, there you have it on the catch and cook for the day. We're uh, going to finish eating this. If you guys like this video, hit the subscribe button and then give it a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel grow. And uh, drop a comment if you guys want to you know, get a different catch and cook or something that's 
a freshwater fish here in Texas, and uh, we'll see if we can get after it. So, appreciate you all watching. See you next time. Um, and a taco is really good. Taco is really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Thank you.